Okay, I just wanted a quick video review of this rifle I picked up the other day. It is one of the new Winchester 1892s. This one is one of the ones that are made by Moroku in Japan. They also made the Browning uh, 92 and a few other rifles. They have been making rifles for a long time. I'd just like to make some comments on the actual quality. Um, the quality is actually quite good. I have owned Winchester lever action rifles in the past and the quality as far as I'm concerned is comparable. It's probably not quite as good as some of them but it's pretty good overall quality. Um, particularly chose this rifle because the wood had a bit of character. It's got a few knots um, in the handle, in the butt here, and the forestock. Um, I like the knots. I think they're add a bit of add a bit of character to the wood. Some people don't like them. But some of the other ones just looked a bit plain, just wood just looked a bit featureless and brown. Just you know, get what guess what wood looks like, but that was like something a bit interesting. Um, it is it's got the buckhorn sights. And typical it's got all this crap written all over it, who it was imported by and where it was made. Um that's just annoying. I don't like that. It has got a tang safety here, and it has does have a rebounding hammer. It this is customarily what the old safe position would be. And even if even if as I find curious, even if you have it on safe um, and you pull the trigger, it's still actually fire. It's still the hammer actually comes back. But apparently it doesn't, according to the instructions, it doesn't strike the uh, firing pin. The machining is um, quite good. There's no actually very few tooling marks. Um, some of the, there's a few that that's not it's not too bad. Seems to be quite smooth. Um, look, looks fairly good quality. There's no plastic parts in there. The um, magazine stop that pushes the rounds up appears to be steel as well, which is great. Um, overall, I'm pretty happy with the rifle. And the price of them is reasonably good. Um, probably slightly expensive. I probably could have bought a Marlin for a couple of hundred dollars more, but don't really like the Marlins that much. They just feel a bit chunky, a bit heavy for me. Um, this one's actually chambered in 40, 44 Magnum. Um, it's a dummy round, so there's no reason to be concerned about that. Um, <clears throat> this rifle is not going to be fired with um, copper jacketed projectiles at all. It's, I'm only going to use cast lead. I'm going to use these cast lead um, coated projectiles in it. Um, and I'm probably just going to be using it for some sort of cowboy action style shooting, plinking, and maybe some um, pig hunting later on down the track it hasn't been fired yet this rifle it's just, I've just picked it up, I've yet to take it out to the range um, had, I think I covered it, it had buckhorn sights and at the front it has got a brass type front sight 
and the trigger pull doesn't feel too bad at the moment. I haven't really um, done much testing with it. Appears to be about six to eight pounds, which is not too bad for a lever action rifle. And they're fairly easy to adjust. I've adjusted them before. I don't know whether this is the same in here. There's you either shim or bend the spring, and it gives you a lighter pull. It does have a rather nice blued crescent butt plate, um, which is quite nice. The only other thing that I was concerned about with this was the um, this rebounding hammer setup, which I don't really know much about. Um, I was more worried about that sort of the longevity of that system. You can probably see it there, it's sort of, and you can sort of press it in with your finger, it sort of springs back. Uh, never had a rifle with a rebounding hammer before, so apparently it's a safety feature. But um, I'm quite comfortable with lever actions just being on the half cock, and basically, when you want to shoot it, you crack it back and you pull the trigger, and if you don't want to shoot something, you don't pull the trigger. Basically, yeah, that's basically it. I'm going to have one more quick last look. Oh, th this is why they call it short, because of this section here, which is actually doesn't have the extra piece of wood. It's short.